Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Today we are playing with this particular sketch, and I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I will put a note as to who that is by, because I don't have it in front of me right at this very moment in time. But uh, that sunburst off to the side, on the right-hand side of the photo, um, inspired me to pull out this Heidi Swap stencil that I've had for ages and put it to some good use. So I pulled out the Peppermint Scrub Catherine Pooler ink, and I'm just using one of my life-changing brushes to apply it. And a little tip here, I should have started every little brush stroke on that center spot because the one at the top, um, you can see some splotches in it. And that's because I put the brush directly on the paper before, um, while it was fresh off the ink pad. So just a little tip for you. It's not going to matter much on my layout because it's going to get covered up in part. And so it's not a big deal. But uh, if you are particular about that kind of thing, um, start off of your page and, or tap your brush off first. Uh, so then I pulled out the Juniper Mist ink and this other stencil. This is an old Jenny Bolin stencil and it's just plus signs. And I really like that. And I'm just creating a lot of texture in the background. At least that's my goal here. Um, I decided I want a little bit more of this Jenny Bolin uh, stencil on here, but I don't want it very dark, so I'm not re-dipping my brush into the ink. I'm just brushing the leftovers on to kind of give a faded out look, and I like how that looks. And then I pulled out the green tea ink pad from Catherine Pooler and this little cross stencil from Alexandra Renke, and I like the different sizes that this is adding, and unfortunately my uh, brush had been dipped in something a little darker so the green isn't as vibrant as I would have liked um, because I started out with it having a little bit of ink on it and I didn't actually realize that so anyway <laughs> it all works out in the end so I'm, I'm not going to stress about it I'm just going to keep going and see what happens I did consider scratching the whole thing and starting over because of that but then I was like you know what I'm just going to keep working on it and see what happens I can always pull the papers off before they're really stuck down and start over if I if I really don't like how it looks. But I, I do end up liking it. It's fine. It doesn't it doesn't take anything away from the layout or anything like that. So, and then I pulled out a bunch of papers from my scrap bins, and I wanted a little bit of a torn edge on on that one. And I had this uh, four by six card that I knew I wasn't going to really use probably. And it's just like the right color to match that peppermint uh, scrub ink from Catherine Pooler. So I'm just trimming it down and I want to pull in those colors. And then I decide I really want the darker color at the top. And I'm going to layer the lighter color below the photo in between the, the photo and the blue mat. And I'm, I like how that looks a lot better. And this is a great use for your 4x6 cards because they can add a lot of color. But you don't have to really worry about what's on them if that is something that you know, if, if they say something or have an image on them that you're not crazy about. And then I have this little scrap piece of paper. This is from Prima, and I'm not sure which collection it's from, but it's just a scrap piece of paper out of my scrap bin. And it has the right colors. It's got that peppermint scrub kind of color in it, and then it's got some lighter pinks. And I like how that looks, but I'm going to end up switching that piece over to the right-hand side of the photo versus the left-hand side, because in the sketch it has that circle um, coming off of the left hand upper corner of the photo and so I am going to do that by using some thread in my sewing machine and creating that circle and so I, I moved the papers over to the right hand side so as not to interfere with that and then I have this blue piece that has plus marks which I thought was a nice um, nod to the plus mark stencil that I used and so I'm going to go ahead and pull that in as well. And I also like how it creates a layer of definition between the pinks. And it adds a little bit more blue. So I, I'm liking that. And then the photo is of me, my daughter, and my grandson. And we're all eating um, those ice cream sandwiches that are made with cookies on the outside. And so I just wanted to document that we all enjoy them and that we had a good day that day. And I mean, not that we don't have... Not that we have a lot of bad days or anything, but 
just that it was a lot of fun. We had the ice cream man, heard the ice cream man as he stopped and we got those as a summer treat. And then I just grabbed a bowl from the kitchen to kind of mark out where I wanted these circles. And I marked three of them. I could have just marked one and kind of followed along with my uh, sewing machine. I did that off screen because my sewing machine is set up to the side. And then if you just pull on the threads in the back, you can pull, um, you pull the bobbin thread and it will pull the top thread back through so you don't have threads sticking out. And then I added a little glue to it because that tape that I'm adding is terrible. It's not washi tape. It's some other kind of weird funky tape. And um, I'm trying to use it up and get it out of my stash. I'm not even sure where it came from, but um, I, it doesn't really hold super well. So I just threw a little bit of glue on there to make sure it stays. And then you saw me erasing the pencil lines because, you know, it's never exact when you're using your sewing machine, at least not for me. So <laughs> there were still pencil lines showing where I was supposed to be putting those circles. And I used two different colors of thread. I used a navy blue and a burgundy. And then I had these hearts that I had created um, maybe in January. And it's just created with some watercolor. And I thought I would use those. But as I, as I was playing with them, I wasn't really satisfied with how they were working out. I think they were just... They were too large and too many. Um, and I just, I just wasn't thrilled with them. So I set those aside and I grabbed my box of uh, pink embellishments and I start pulling out some things. I like the Hello Gorgeous. I thought that was cute. And that pink piece that says Inspired Daily, that's a ticket. I just like that as well. And I had stopped at Tuesday morning earlier in the day and uh, got these Actually, this was, these were not from Tuesday morning. They're from Joann's. I got these thickers, and they're puffy thickers. And the pink on it was just the right color, so I decided to use those. And then my title is going to be Love You Cookie, um, because we all seem to really like those. <laughs> um, you know, it's the cookie ice cream sandwich, so what, what could be bad about that? And it's got, like, little chocolate chips all the way around the outside. I think it's the Good Humor brand versus like It's It or one of the other brands. And then I'm trying to figure out which little tiny tile stickers or uh, alphas I want to use to create the word cookie. And I think I'm going to use these light pink ones, but then they're so light that they don't provide enough contrast. And they do match the papers that are layered underneath. But then I try the dark pink ones and then I end up using the blue. And um, these... I have had a lot of people ask me about these. They are from Paper Tray Ink, and I did contact the manufacturer because um, I see that the dye is sold out online, and they are no longer making the dye or any of the alphas. So whatever they have online is what they have. So I apologize if you cannot find them. I also checked eBay to see if there was any listed there, and there, are, there were not at the time. And so if you are looking for little tiny tile stick stickers or uh, letters like this, uh, st the stamp market makes a set. It's a stamp and a die. Um, they do not stay all attached on that strip like the ones I have, but they do work. They are slightly larger. They are more of the size of the ones you would get in uh, any one of the collections like that have those tile stickers on their sticker sheets. So then I went into my navy blue box or actually it's just a blue box. It has all kinds of blues. Those stars are navy blue. They look black on screen, but they are definitely navy blue. And then I had that little mesh looking piece that was die cut. And so I thought I would use that as well to bring in some more texture. And I'm just going to cut it into three pieces. I don't want it to be cut straight across. So that's why you see me using my little scissors there so I can snip in between and have it look kind of jagged. And I like how that looks. And that's pretty much how the layout ends up. I lost a little bit of footage at the end here of me assembling everything. But um, this is pretty much how it looks. I am going to add some more stamps for some more texture. So I add this barcode stamp in um, the Peppermint Scrub. I add the Plus stamp in the Juniper Mist. And then I pull out the 
a green tea one to add some of these dots and I like that. Um, so while I finish that up, make sure you go check out the other people playing along with 30 Days of Sketches. There is a complete list down below of everybody's playing along for the month. They may not be playing along every single day, but uh, they are playing along throughout the month at varying times. So you can go to their channels and check that out. And be sure to check out Christie's as well. Uh, she is playing along all month. So go and check out her channel, Christie's Beautiful Life. And thank you, Christy, for putting this whole thing together. It's been a, an amazing series. Um, she has a Facebook group. It's listed down below so that you can play along as well. And you can see the sketches and post there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.